Is Baccarat Rouge 540 still relevant in 2022? It's like asking if Coco Mademoiselle is still relevant. Yes, it was trending for a while, but it's definitely here to stay. You can be assured that if you purchase Baccarat Rouge 540, whichever one you choose, you're still relevant in 2022. I know that some people that watch my videos are very, very new to perfumes. And I always say this, and I know you've probably heard this a million times, but if you're new to perfumes, you do not have to have a huge budget to start your collection, not at all. Buy what you can afford, you know, those Britney Spears. I have, I have many designer fragrances that I started with that you don't see as often now, but I still truly love and use frequently. Okay, so I started right from one bottle, you know, of my favorite fragrance, a very affordable one, and slowly you will buy one perfume and then you'll see another one and you will buy it because you love it, because you love it, you buy it, and before you know it, you have three perfumes and you have four you know and it's a slow process but eventually you will have a collection of your favorite perfumes you do not have to spend a lot of money on perfumes when you're starting especially a perfect example is the daisy love that i sprayed it's more affordable than the amouage journey the other amouage and the baccarat but it smells so good okay it smells so good you cannot tell which one is designer and which one is niche on my arms right now try perfumes at any price range okay that fits your budget and if you love it that's what you go with actually I think I should do a really like super affordable perfume collection for you to show you what I have because I have some of my favorites that I still use today and I layer and, and sometimes when I wear Zara perfume some people confuse that with a Chanel perfume that I own but I'm not wearing at that time but they think oh wait are you wearing Mademoiselle no <laughs> I'm wearing Zara you know so don't feel stressed or um, anxious when you see other people with a hundred bottles that is not necessary you you do not need in fact it gives me anxiety thinking that I have a bunch of bottles in my house right now so I I separate them <laughs> I separate them I'll have ten over there I'll have five over there I'll have three over there just so I don't see them all at once because that would give me too much anxiety that would be too much to look at it'll be confusing trying to pick a fragrance every day that is so not necessary and most of the time people end up with a bunch of bottles that they don't actually love but they just have just to have and that is not exactly wise either you want to have perfumes that you can't wait to wear in the morning you can't wait to go out because you just want to spray that perfume you know so that's what makes a collection i think and that's what makes it worth it having a perfume collection anything outside of that is being vain i think there was a time where i was starting to get swept up and i had to stop for a bit and get rid of ones that I wasn't using or loving um, just so I can appreciate my collection a lot more. The perfumes that I buy, I enjoyed or I blind bought because of the notes and I thought they would work for my life. But if a perfume does not work for my life, it has to go to a home that will appreciate it more. So what I'm trying to say is when you're watching YouTubers or you're watching me and I'm showing you a perfume that I enjoyed, I'd still advise you to go and read the notes and try the perfume before you purchase it. Because what ends up happening is that favorite YouTuber that you were watching bought a certain perfume and you got excited and you went and bought the same perfume. You come back later, they've made a decluttering video and they're getting rid of the perfumes that they were so excited about. 
before and then you went and bought the same perfume so now you're watching them declutter it and now you feel bad you're like well I thought you were I thought we we vibed I thought you liked the same things as I did now you're getting rid of the perfume that I thought you said you loved what is going on and I know people change and their tastes change this is why you only buy what you enjoy it's fine if you can't smell a perfume near you you still have to go and uh, blind buy it but do that at your own risk don't hold the youtuber responsible for what you purchased the point is i'll try and tell you why i enjoy the perfume and hope that you will go and try it and enjoy it as much as i did now i have recommended perfumes and people have enjoyed them so i do get good feedback on my recommendations now in that case if you kind of know my taste and we're you know we're on the same wavelength then yes go blind buy but know that it's still at your own risk <sighs> that's so heavy isn't it such a big responsibility <laughs> but look even if you don't like a perfume there's other ways to work around it if you do want you can resell it or you can blend it with other perfumes that you enjoy so make your own concoction you know and yeah and use the bottle that way but i'm not a fan of this whole decluttering every six months and people are just buying you know 50 perfumes and then 30 of them have been decluttered it's like so why why did i watch a whole review of that video and you said you said you like this perfume you said that you don't see yourself going without it so what happened you know and as you grow you learn new fragrances you discover new fragrances and uh, i try to make sure that that doesn't happen to me that i'm consistent <laughs> so anyways so far the perfumes that I have recommended, I still have and still love. I'm talking that fragrance by Rodriguez. Um, this is her. I love that. Um, some of the Britney Spears that I've talked about, I love. Okay, um, the Extrite Baccarat Rouge, I still love. The direction of my channel that I'm trying to take it is more advice and tips. So. I don't want to just come here and show you perfumes, bags, you know, not all the time. Um, but I do want to be able to give you something substantial for you to take home with you, to keep in your heart or keep you thinking, you know. So if any of you have any questions, it doesn't have to be related to perfume. It could be to do with anything and life. I am always so excited to see your questions and I do always answer and reply. So um, make sure you, you reach out to me if you have something that you want to talk to me about. So I know that I've had a really long break from YouTube and posting, but that does not mean that I forgot you guys and I'm still very grateful and thankful um, for all the subscribing and commenting on videos. Even while I was away, people were still commenting and reaching out to me and I did respond to you. So I am always around, um, always around. <laughs> just, yeah, I just had a little, Space that I needed so I'll see which days of the week I would be posting so it could be Monday Wednesday or Friday um, or yeah just working that out but you will definitely see me posting a lot more like I said it would be all kinds of topics and advice so really stay tuned and I'm so excited for this year 2022 I hope all of you are still well and good and I'm excited to hear from you again and yeah, let's see how we go this year. <laughs> it started all right. We've been having floods over here. Although I was not personally affected, I have done a lot of reaching out to those that have um, because it's really hard. It came out of nowhere and we had people's cars flooded homes flooded 
um yeah and you know the shops get emptied when people are in a panic and people are worried about the war starting it's just crazy again it's a crazy start but we're gonna make it through just like we did last year and we're hoping for better days hey so that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed it and let's wait till the next one